Let's talk about the EC2 instances in our AWS cloud. So in this chapter, we are just going to focus on what is EC2 instance, what's the importance of it, and how you can create your first EC2 instance. And to give you a heads up, we will be creating a Linux-based EC2 instance as well as we will be creating a Windows-based EC2 instance in this session. But before that, let's try to understand what the EC2 instance is. So EC2 instance is a virtual server. So traditionally, we have seen a physical server in our data centers, but EC2 instance in AWS cloud, it's just a virtual ser uh, server which is running into AWS cloud's data center. And these virtual servers can be run in any region. So let's say you are present into Asia region, then you will choose a nearest data center based on your geographical location. So if you are present in any other Western country, Europe or uh, America, then you will be choosing the nearest data center present to your vicinity. So you just need to choose the region where you want to run your EC2 instances or your virtual server. So it's just a virtual server. Uh, which is running into your AWS cloud. But traditionally, we had a physical server sitting somewhere into your company's on-premise infra. So that's the very basic difference between uh, EC2 instance with the traditional servers. All right, so now we know the EC2 instance and its significance because it is a virtual server. But how about the memory, CPU, and the disk space? Uh, how we are going to set up all those things? So in AWS, you get all those features. So in AWS, you can set up your memory, you can set up your storage, you can set up your CPU, and even you can set up your network networking for your EC2 instance as well. So these everything are possible for your virtual server. So it's just like you will be setting up all those things one by one when you are trying to start your virtual server, which is a EC2 machine. All right. So how would you differentiate the different virtual servers? So in AWS, we have a terminology which is like a T3 nano, T3 uh, like a micro t3 small t3 large so these are some denomination which is given by aws from their documentation and each uh, denomination has a certain cpu configuration associated with it so as the name suggests nano which will be very small instance uh, micro will be a little bit bigger instance uh, and the t3 small will be a little bit more bigger instance than the micro and eventually you will have a more higher cpu like a large or x large series also available so you just need to choose like what kind of a cpu you need uh, or the what kind of a ec2 machine uh, with that kind of a power you need so just select the correct size and then start provisioning uh, which i'm just going to show to you like how you can start your own ec2 machine but yeah these everything are possible uh, uh, in the setup stage and you can set up everything uh, when you're trying to start your EC2 instance. All right, so this is my home uh, page of my AWS console. So in the search box, how you would search for EC2 instances. So you simply need to type EC2 over here and click on this EC2 option. And here you will see uh, the dashboard which is available for your EC2 configuration or EC2 control panel. So this particular dashboard here you will see all the instances which are running and uh, which we can set up or which we can also launch as a new instances. So as of now the instances running count is zero which means I don't have any instance running. So uh, here if you click on this link then here you will find there are no instances which are running. Again go to the dashboard. I will just like to give you a brief uh, overview of this complete dashboard. Okay, so uh, there are some other options which we will take a look uh, later. Uh, we will just right now focus on this EC2 instance and how to get uh, one instance running for you. All right, so the key thing over here is how to launch your EC2 instance. So here you will find the option which is a launch instance. So this is the option we are going to use to start our ec2 instance but before that i have mentioned about the region point like in which region uh, you need to create your ec2 instance so here you can see as soon as you will sign up for your aws account then these are the different different regions which you can choose so as i said uh, we generally try to stick with the nearest region so here i am choosing the stockholm region because i am present into stockholm so that's why i have chosen this is stockholm region so based on your uh, like uh, geographical location try to choose the nearest data center or nearest region uh, in your aws 
Okay, so that's been said. We are into the Europe region and this is the Stockholm region where I'll be working. So I will be provisioning or I will be starting my EC2 instance into my Stockholm data center of AWS. Okay, so how to start our EC2 instance? So here you can click on this orange launch instance button. So just click over here and here it will give you some options. So first of all, name and tag. So this is an optional thing. You can skip it also, but for the time being, I just don't want to skip these things because this will help you to identify your EC2 instance. So here I'm just going to put a uh, test demo uh, AWS solution AAA series, solution architect series. I'm just putting a name and uh, uh, I'm just going to put, I think that's good. And after that, once you specified the name of your EC2 instance, then you need to choose the operating system which you want to associate with your EC2 instance. So here I'm just going to start, uh, let's say I'm just going to choose Ubuntu as my base operating system. You can choose any, any Linux operating system, even Amazon Linux is also fine. All right. So just choose an operating system. And here you can see this is the version which I will be using uh, inside my uh, EC2 instance, which is Ubuntu Server 24.04. Okay. Secondly, the architecture. So which architecture you want to go with? So I'm just going with the 64-bit x86 architecture. Even you can choose ARM uh, as well but I'm just sticking with the x86. Okay, so here is the AMI, uh, which is a virtual image of your uh, EC2 instance. So that's the AMI ID, which is uh, for this EC2 instance, okay? Then here, as I have told you earlier, that what kind of a uh, CPU you wanna, or what kind of a power you wanna associate with your EC2 instance. So here I'm just going with the T3 micro, which has like a two CPU, one GB of memory, and it considered into a free tire. So I'm just gonna stick with this one. Okay, the second thing which is important, which is a key pair. So I generally recommend to use the key pair uh, whenever you're working with the EC2 instances because these key pair will help you to log in into your EC2 instance, okay? Now, how, what is key pair? So key pair is like there are two parts to it. One is the public key and one is the private key. And to simplify this whole uh, key setup, I have just created two, ident uh, two objects over here. On the left hand side, you will see a developer, which is like you or me. Uh, and on the right hand side, you will see a EC2 instance, which is also having a key. So there are two key which I have created over here. One is the red one and one is the green one. So the red one is the private key, which I always keep it with me. And the public key is I always associate uh, with my EC2 instance. So whenever I'm talking about these keys and these keys will be used to SSH or to log in into your EC2 instance. So right now we are just trying to set up our EC2 instance. So at the same time, we need to uh, create these keys. So we will be creating this key pair. And now, now I'm talking about the key pair, then I will be creating a pair of keys, which will have a public key and the private key. So once I create a public key and private key, then it will automatically attach this public key, which you can see, which is a green key to EC2 instance, but it will give you the private key for your download, which you can keep it onto your local laptop or your workstation. All right, so let's get back to our AWS console and see. So here you can see this is the key pair where we were trying to create. So just click on create a new key pair. And here you can enter the name of your key pair. And this name will be common for your public key and private key, but the extensions will be different. Okay, so I will put the name dem demo EC2 as a, a uh, series. So this is the name of my key, which I would like to put over here. And after that, the private key format, I'm just gonna stick with the .pem extension and then click on create key pair. And as soon as you down, uh, create this key pair, then it has already downloaded, which you can see over here, it has already downloaded me the private key onto my local laptop, all right? And here in the dropdown, you will see the key has been attached and this key is your public key. So this, everything is happening uh, on the, go actually you can see so here now we are able to create a key pair public key is associated with our ec2 instance and the private key has been downloaded onto my local system we are going to use this key later so just keep in mind this key is already with me okay so as of now let's move to the next section which is our networking section so 
right now i'm just going with the default networking setup but in the upcoming chapter you will see i will be config configuring this whole ec2 instance into our dedicated vpc subnet and then in the subnet also we will have a public and private subnet so we will be setting up this ec2 instance into those proper public as well as into our private subnet all right so but at the time being we are just trying to understand our ec2 instance so i will just keep everything default over here i'm not going to change anything over here security groups which is important and i would like to show you that you need to create a security group to ssh into your ec2 instance so here uh, as you can see uh, like uh, we have choose the option create security group allow ssh traffic from anywhere so whenever you see this IP range 0.0.0.0, which means uh, like anyone can access this particular EC2 instance because this IP range everywhere denotes that this resource is accessible to everyone. So that's why this IP range is used here. And this IP range we are gonna use quite a lot. So just keep in mind that whenever you see this IP range, which means from anywhere. Okay, and here we are allowing the SSH. So SSH happens on a port 22. So we are just checking up this box so that our SSH is enabled and we will be able to SSH or log in into our EC2 instance. So these are the few settings which we are going with it. Okay, after that, the storage, I'm just sticking with the eight gigs, which is sufficient enough for my demo. And uh, after that, Advanced detail, we are just gonna take a look later because in that section, we are gonna take a look onto the user data section. But as of now, let's let's not focus on that part. And what we are gonna do, we are just gonna, uh, we are quite ready with our uh, whole setup. And this is the name of my EC2 instance, which is this one. And we have chosen Linux Ubuntu as my base operating system. After that, we are going with 64-bit x86 architecture, T3 micro. This is the key pair which we have created. We have enabled the SSH uh, on port 22 from anywhere. And after that, uh, I think we are quite good. And also one more thing. You need to set this one in uh, auto assign the public IP. If you don't assign it, then you will not be able to get the public IP and you will not be able to SSH into your EC2 instance. So just keep in mind that this option is enabled if you are just setting it for the first time. Okay, then click on this launch instance over here and it will take a couple of minutes. I'll be back once this is ready. So here you can see the instance has been launched. Let's go and check. So it is running right now. So uh, the health status check is, is still initializing. So I'll be back in a couple of minutes once it is ready. All right, so now my instance is up and running and the status check is passed and instance state is running. So if you click on this instance ID, then there are a couple of details which you need to verify. So this is our public IP, which we will be using to SSH into my EC2 instance or to log in into my EC2 instance. And this is the private IP which has been assigned and the state is running. So as of now, the details looks quite good. And now we will be using our private key to SSH into this EC2 instance. Now to log in or to SSH into your EC2 instance, there are certain instructions which you can get once you click on this connect option over here. So here you will find a couple of options like EC2 instance connect, session manager and SSH client. So I'm just gonna use the SSH client over here. And these are the instruction which you need to follow to SSH into your EC2 instance. And here, the first thing is you need to have the key which you, we have already downloaded. So this is the key which we will be using. So let me open my terminal because we will be logging into our Linux instance using our terminal. So I will open my terminal over here. And this terminal can be different for you. Uh, this is just my Mac, but in case if you are using any operating system like a Windows, then there will be like a, a Sigwin in your Windows. I think there is a tool called Sigwin uh, in Git, which you can use, which is exactly like a terminal onto your Windows machine if you are using Windows. Okay, so anyway, uh, you just need to use any terminal uh, which is available onto your operating system, whether you, it is a Mac, whether it is a Windows, it doesn't matter. You just need to use the terminal. All right, so now uh, what I'll do, I'll just go to the directory where my key is there. So I will just go to the directory and uh, let me check. So I need to go to the downloads directory. 
and in the downloads i have a folder demo where i have already downloaded that key and here you can see this is the key which i have downloaded or when i created this key pair so this has been downloaded over here okay so let's follow the instructions once again over here so first of all we need to change the mode of that particular key because that particular key has a very open permission so here if you take a look then this particular key has a read and write permission which you can see so we need to change this read and write and we need to make it read only so i'm just going to copy this command from here and uh, paste it over here and hit enter and let's check the permission and now you can see this is the read only right now okay i'm just going to clear the screen and uh, i'm just going to follow the next instruction and this is the uh, ssh command so just copy this uh, ssh command and this ssh command will tell you like use this private key and this is the ubuntu which is your username and this is the uh, url which you need to or this is the uh, private dns uh, of your ec2 instance sorry it is not a private but it is going to be your public dns of your ec2 instance so that uh, it can connect to that ec2 instance okay so just copy this command from here go to your terminal once again and the paste this command and after that hit enter and it will ask are you sure you want to connect so type yes and here you go you now you have logged in into your ec2 instance and if i clear it i not clear it but i would like to show you first couple of things so this is the first thing which you need to verify this is your private ip which you can see 172.31.30.211 and which you can verify if you go over here so here you can see private ip 172.31.30.211 so that's your private ip okay and the same details which you can verify from here also so we have chosen the uber 20.04 that's correct and uh, here a couple of more thing which is like this is your uh, uh, dns uh, which you can also verify just copy this thing from here control f and control v and here you can see the public dns okay and uh, yeah so these are the quite a few details which you can verify from here so but anyway uh, what i'm trying to convey the message over here is we are able to set up our ec2 instance and this ec2 instance is up and running and this ec2 instance we have set up uh, using our linux ubuntu uh, ami so this is how we start setting up our first virtual server uh, which is our linux uh, virtual server and uh, i hope with this instruction you will be able to play around with your ec2 instances and my recommendation is just try to stick with the t3 micro or uh, uh, small instances if you are just doing it for the learning purpose okay so that was my first session on the uh, ec2 instances uh, in the next session we are going to take a look on how to set up the ec2 instances uh, for windows machine right now we have used ubuntu linux machine but we are going to use the windows uh, machine to set up our ec2 instance and i'm just going to show you like how you can uh, log in into your windows machine as well okay see you into the next session till then take care and bye bye